Hey guys, bow hunting Radneck here with a quick review slash overview of the PSE uh, Levitate, a new bow that's come out on the market. Been watching this uh, John Dudley uh, go around hunting with this bow. And I had the opportunity yesterday to go to a bow shop here and shoot that bow. I am a PSE fanboy, or I should say former PSE fanboy. I've owned uh, lots of PSE bows. Uh, the Omen, the uh, Full Throttle, uh, the Decree I, I see, the DNA, um, the 31 and 28 versions of the Evo, the original Evo. And uh, after the 28 version of the Evo, I actually switched to a Matthews bow, Matthews V3 actually last year, and been loving that bow. But um, I wanted to go check out PSE bows because the reason why I went away from them was uh, the deal with the speed. The speed of their bows just went way down. And so uh, I actually went to the Matthews and then they came out with this uh, Levitate. Uh, John Dudley had a lot of input on this bow and so I thought I'd go shoot it. So uh, stay tuned for that this quick overview. Nothing new under the sun. One life to live, seeking fun. But shallow is the self-lived life, for me, myself, oh, so much strife. But Jesus is the answer for a life perplexed and wanting more. It's never easy self to deny, but it's the only way to a life on high. Let me give you the specs on this bow as we get started here. It has braid heights of six inch. This is definitely not a beginner's bow. Uh, it has the uh, so speed rating on it is 348 and 340. And then it all, that's with the E2 mod, that's our E2 cam. That's the cam that I was actually shooting. And then the S2 is uh, 341 or 333. So that's a little slower, <clears throat> but I assume it's probably a little bit smoother of a cam. Let off on it is anywhere from 80 to 90%, but it also comes, you can also get the uh, low let off mods if you if you prefer shooting low let off. Mass weight is 3.6 and this uh, pounds, and this bow is the lightest bow I've ever handled in my life. It is really, really light. Uh, the uh, draw length is anywhere from 27 and a half to 31 and a half. That's the E2 cam, the S2 cam, comes in at 25 inches all the way to 29 inches. So there is a difference there in those cams. Draw weights are 60, 70, and 80 pounds. Limb bolt turns are 10. That's one of the things, characteristics of a PSE bow is it, it's very generous in the uh, turns on those uh, bolts. So you can get it, uh, probably much less than like, for example, if you have uh, 60 to 70 pound limbs, I'm sure you could probably get that bow down to close to 50 pounds uh, because of the so many turns on it. All right, it comes in, uh, the colors are black, charcoal, uh, green, tan. Then you have uh, those same colors with uh, camel limbs. You have uh, Spec Ops, the knock-on green, uh, the gunship, and Sandman, so those are the different uh, uh, colors that they come in. Let me give you a quick impression of my shooting of this bow. Now I could not film, they wouldn't allow me to film at the bow shop, but uh, I shot it about 10 times. And I know enough about PC, PSE bows to, to know what they're like and how they feel. Uh, the positives on it, first of all is it's a very sharp looking bow. I really love the looks of this bow. It, it looks really, really good. Um, as far as the cams go, because I was shooting uh, the, uh, the higher speed cam, which is the E2 cam, and uh, I, I found it to be very smooth pulling. Uh, it pulled very nice. <clears throat> Had a really, really good valley and a really, really good back wall much better than uh, any PSE bow I've shot. It was really good. 
It also is a little bit wider of a bow. And so it, um, it actually, uh, the, the platform seems nice and stable, very much like my uh, Evo 2031 and 28 that I used to shoot. And uh, they are, uh, it, it uh, makes for a, a nice shooting platform. This is a proprietary uh, carbon that they have created. And um, there is, when you shoot the bow, there is, I did not feel any vibration. It, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely vibration free. The negative that I found with this bow is it, I think it is so light that uh, it, out of all the PSE bows that I've shot, it probably uh, shoots uh, with more recoil than any PSE bow that I've shot before. There's a lot of recoil, and that's probably because of the weight, I would assume. Um, it uh, is, and so the hand shock on this bow is, is pretty heavy. Uh, is that a deal breaker for me? Not necessarily, depending on what I would want to use the bow for. Another negative, there's two negatives in my book, was the recoil, hand shock. Um, and uh, in fact, uh, if you, if you want to shoot a bow that has no hand shock at all, shoot a V3. <laughs> there is, my V3 has no hand shock at all. Um, but uh, that, the one negative is, of course, the hand shock recoil on that bow when you let that thing, uh, let that arrow fly. And then also the, uh, the um, length of the bow, 32 and a quarter, I believe it is. It's just a little bit too long a bow for me. I like the shorter bows uh, because I shoot a lot out of uh, tree stands and Meh. box blinds. Um, would I use this bow in a tree stand? No, I just use my V3. Would I use it uh, in a box blind uh, or a, a tent blind? Probably not because I'm gonna pop the top. I love to stand up when I shoot. So, uh, so this bow is specifically, I would say if I was to use it, grew up in California, used to hunt a lot of the Sierra Nevada mountains. I'd, I'd probably, I'd take it on a Sierra Nevada hunt. Uh, very light, very uh, maneuverable to get around in, out in that those wide open spaces. Any other thoughts on this bow? I mean, the, the bow shoots really fast. I like that. Uh, the bow also um, is very, in my opinion, very smooth pulling back. And, and again, the, that, uh, that valley and that back wall is awesome. I love that. So um, six, one half dozen the other. Am I gonna buy this bow? For $1,900, man, that's a steep uh, steep price to pay for a bow. But I guess if I, if uh, Biden was to give us some more welfare money and I lived out west, uh, living in Texas like I do, I might buy this bow. Um, but uh, really, it, uh, for, for the type of hunting that I do, tree stand hunting and box blind hunting and tent blind hunting, um, I don't think I would pay the money for this bow. I'd try to find a little shorter bow. All right, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. those thoughts on the, uh, the new PSC Levitate. Uh, be sure and subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we will get you notice of any future videos coming out. Got uh, turkey season coming up, and also I got a bear hunt plan for the spring in New Brunswick, Canada. So uh, be sure and stay tuned for those uh, videos.